And with the Grey Cup just a few days away, fan festivities starting in earnest tomorrow. Hamilton continues to face a major transit issue. Yeah, getting around Steeltown a bit more of a challenge right now. Our Courtney Heels live downtown Hamilton this morning with more on the uh, you know fight where they're really both sides digging in here. Yeah, it doesn't really look like they're making much progress. We're going on day seven of this transit strike, Nick and Beatrice. I've had a chance to speak with a, a few people who are out this morning on their way to work saying they're basically forced to drive or they have to rely on a cab or an Uber because they can't get on a bus. And it's a little disappointing for many residents knowing it doesn't look like there's any progress at the table. It doesn't look like they're really talking, really. It all comes down to wages. What we can tell you, day seven, as I mentioned, wages a big issue here. ATU Local 107, that's the the union representing these uh, bus drivers, they're calling for a higher wage increase. Now, the city is offering a 12.75% increase with 3.75% retroactive to January and then 3% increase over the next three years. But the union says that amount, it's not enough to keep pace with inflation, saying that it's incredibly expensive for really everyone right now, but this increase isn't enough for workers. Uh, the city is saying they're not budging on this because they're concerned if they do increase uh, the wage, then it could mean more taxes for for residents in this city. I want to share with you a statement from Mayor Horbath's office on this, saying the city offer to transit workers included a wage increase of 12.75% over four years. A wage increase higher than that would be unfair to Hamilton's other unions and to the people of Hamilton, whose transit fares and property taxes would go up as a result at a time that's financially difficult for people. Now, what's also challenging here, the fact that uh, Hamilton is busy. There's a lot going on in the city. The Grey Cup right around the corner taking place in Hamilton on Sunday but there are a lot of activities and events in the city in the lead up to Sunday's big game. For example, concerts. Uh, Shaggy's in town on Thursday, Carrie Underwood on Friday. These concerts will bring in thousands of people and there is the question, how will they get around if many of them were planning to take local transit? So certainly the timing isn't good. At this time, it doesn't look like the two sides are talking or, or willing to talk because of wages being such a big issue. Uh, Nick, important to note, I've reached out to the mayor's office, also to the local union to see if they are available to talk to us to, to see where everything stands. So more to come on this for sure. Yeah, people uh, really you. want to know if they're going to be able to get around. That's for sure. Courtney Hills live in downtown Hamilton. Thanks, Court.